so we're here with a thin film and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer Ernst. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer for Thin Film Electronics. So what is Thin Film Electronics? Well, first of all, we specialize in making electronics in a fundamentally new way. We use printing technology to manufacture the active components of our electronic systems. So this is printed electronics? This is printed electronics. This is like the dream of the future and you're doing it already? We have a plant in San Jose where we're doing... We have, we have a plant in San Jose and we have a plant in Linköp in Sweden. In where? In Sweden? Linköp up in Sweden, All right. about two hours south of Stockholm. Cool, Linköpin. And uh, here we have a... Uh, is this real or is it uh, just a prototype? Um, this is a prototype, but the technology inside of it is real and the technology will be available Q3. So this is a prototype that Diageo uh, built for the Johnny Walker brand with us. We're using a technology that we call OpenSense based on our NFC barcode technology. Now, on these bottles, You'll see that we have two different states. One of them is open and one of them is closed. How, so, how, how's that, uh, how does, ah, the, the, the fact, state? The factory seal right here. Yeah? Okay, so we know, um, yeah? we, we know because we have this, this is sealed. You can probably assume that this customer is in a buying mode, making a decision. Nice. Um, so you can serve up content that, that would entice them into the brand, that would show them the differences between this particular version of Johnny Walker and other ones, yeah. and then offer you know the final closing line: Are you ready to open your bottle of Johnny, of Johnny Walker Blue Label? Obviously. Now the product's open. At this point in time, you really want to be offering the consumer something that's going to deepen their experience of the brand. So it's the same tag? Same tag. And there was some kind of electronics that told it it was open? There was some kind of electronics that told it that, it's, that the seal has been broken. And so the electronics that's in there, in the seal, that's something you do? That's something we do. So this entire tag would print the NFC portion. Um, it's a partially printed process at our, at our facility in San Jose sheet based on a metal foil and then we turn it into a little die, um, attach it to an antenna and then we have an NFC tag. And All right. we're able to make this, um, one of the exciting things about the technology is that we're able to do some things dynamically with the tags um, that would be very hard to do with traditional semiconductor electronics. So what is the main thing that's hard to do? Um, in this particular case, this dynamic, this ability to do the dynamic states at a cost point that's equivalent to a traditional semiconductor, a traditional NFC chip. So this so is really affordable for this. It's, this is, it's, yeah, this is in the dimes kind of range. Dime range. Dimes kind of range. So it's like 0 0.1 something. So dollars. into say 20 cents ish kind of range. All right. Now this one is. Um, uh, I think I might. Let me just do a quick check here. Yeah, I need to reset this one because it has been previously exposed yeah. to a high temperature. What are we looking for, sir? I need the. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is, is this is not part of the product family. This is just something I have to do for demos. Okay. Okay. So that that okay. is not part of our. Okay, so this is our NFC temperature threshold sensor. Temperature. Threshold. Temperature threshold. So we're detecting if the temperature of a product has been kept within the proper temperature range. So you can see now, um, it, the label's freshly applied, it's just been added to a produce shipment, and it, the temperature has been kept within the certain specified limits. Now, what I have here is a heater. So we're going to pretend that that's like the uh, sun shining down on the side of the truck. You know, it might be heating up one side of the truck and not another. So inside of the individual <laughs> shipment container, you may have 20 to 25 degrees variation from one side of the vehicle to another. So while this is heating up, so the ones that were on the side of the truck that were hot, will be able to tell which ones had the temperature exceeded. Nice. Well, this, so this is this is going to be <laughs> recorded here definitely. Until, Inde indefinitely. And if it's not going to come back to green. No, it's not. In this particular version, once it's triggered that 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 threshold that that threshold or that shipment has been compromised, it stays in that state and will tell you. And in there is a printed electronics. There is printed electronics and a thin. It's flexible. Battery. Yep. Is it fragile? Not particularly. All right. And is it affordable? Yeah, so we'll be in, these will be in the dollar to two dollar range, depending on quantities. So thin film, have you been shipping a lot of things, or is it still kind of showing stuff? 
Um, at the moment, what we're shipping primarily is our electronic article surveillance tags. Those are the alarm. Those are the things that set off those alarms. Um, we have some very specialized versions of those for high fashion retail. And in that particular market, um, we're shipping out 13 million units at the moment. Um, these are. This is a Q3 launch. Q3, so it's uh, so this, arrive, coming soon. Uh, and this is a Q4 launch. What is this? Um, this is another version of the OpenSense using the cosmetic. So slightly different use case. <laughs> um, in this particular case, the customer cares about whether the product has been factory sealed or not. Okay. Um, particularly um, so that they don't get problems with bulking it up, with replacement product being put into authentic containers. Is there any risk that a normal seal would still be unopened, but, uh, but uh, the result would be read by mistake? Very difficult, very, very difficult, and that's because once this is triggered, we actually have two completely different states in the tag. And the, if you know the first state, you can't do anything to figure out what the second state is. So it's also got a, the tag themselves, when they leave our factory, they're immutable. So there's a unique ID number in the tag. That unique ID number cannot be changed once it leaves our factory. And the second ID, the second ID that goes with the tag, is mathematically unrelated to the first. And so you can't actually figure out what the second state of that ID is. It's a second random number. And they're associated in a database to make sure that they lock together. <laughs> so does that mean also that uh, uh, people who, who unseal it, who open it, cannot fake, will it, like the needle that you were doing, they cannot fake it back to green? They really can't fake it back to green, no. So that's kind of like a secure. It is secure. Secure it's a very system. very high security label. For Cool. And uh, what, is, uh, what are you showing here? Is this more about the future of what you'll, you'll do? Okay, so this is actually part of our um, temperature threshold. So if you, if you see on the front here, um, this particular, this version has uh, several display type displays on it. So we also are making printed displays at our factory in Sweden. Printed displays? Yes, this one, actually, this one has one on it. So what does this show here? Well, if the battery is has... a battery indicator? Yeah, if the battery hasn't run out, it looks like the battery... Oh, there we go. So this nice. is a printed display. Really? So is this uh, in real products or not yet? Um, not... not uh, we're shipping in um, levels of, of samples. So like, we're Kind of like development kits? Uh, trial samples. So trial we're samples. putting them out to customers, uh, doing field research with them. I expect to be doing field product, field studies in the mid, mid part of the year. It looks very nice. And is it going to be flexible, unbreakable, stuff like that? That's really cool. And uh, the price is going to be good? Yeah, I mean, we're still talking in that kind of bucket, buck to two dollar range, cool. depending on the price. And uh, what is this one? This was actually our very, very first product, which is a printed memory. <laughs> um, every one of those crossover points is a single bit. And this is a fully printed roll-to-roll -roll process. So we can print a kilometer long of memory <laughs> on a single press of it in Sweden. A kilometer long of memory, but it's still not going to be as much as an SD card, right? Nowhere close. So this is 20 bits. Okay. Uh, so what, what can you store in 20 bits? Technically C, A, and half of T. <laughs> so it's a very small amount of memory, but you can store a number over a million. Uh, so where we're finding the most, the, the main use cases for this right now are an application we call Smart Consumables. And it's where you have any kind of like a... a printer cartridge or any kind of refill, something where you have a refillable product and you take the refill, plug it into the base, you can count the number of days it's been in use, you can count the number of times it's been used, and the cartridge can tell you something smart. So if you have an air filter, for example, you can tell whether that air filter has been in use for 30 days. When you pull the cartridge out, stick it back in, it still knows that it's been used for 30 days. Um, that technology has recently been licensed by Xerox, and the Xerox Corporation um, has a plant that is, by end of year, will have capacity of 1.3 billion units. 1.2 billion units per year. <coughs> so we're talking about this is going to be everywhere. The printed about electronics are arriving. Absolutely. They're going to take over everything. Are they going to be recyclable? Or because working. all this stuff sounds really cool, but it, it'd be nice if kind of, even though it's a one-use thing, that maybe you could kind of like reuse it, uh, like. So, Right. So we're working Would that make on, sense? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't want to see all this stuff end up in the waste stream. So we're working on some green battery with a green battery company for a very earth-friendly battery to incorporate. Um, and also on using materials that can be recycled or brought into those processes. Cool. So looking forward to uh, lots of printed electronics everywhere.
Yeah, I mean, well, you'll talk, we'll be talking this week about the Internet of Things. And when we talk about the Internet of Things, we're now talking about uh, this is a gateway. You know, this, this kind of device becomes a gateway where inanimate objects actually become the citizens of the network. And uh, you're helping to enable that. Do you think that there's going to be other companies showing cool printed electronic stuff at this conference? So at least uh, you are showing something pretty awesome, but we'll see what happens. But it'd be nice if uh, it needs to be like an industry. Yes, there is actually a huge national initiative right now. Um, the White House announced an initiative earlier this year on flexible and hybrid electronics, where pr printed electronics plays. Um, FlexTech Alliance is one of the leading organizations in the U.S. working on, on helping build that kind of coalition. Um, so I, we will absolutely see a upsurge in this area by all means. Um, your question about whether anyone else would be showing technology here, we are actually the only one in printed electronics that has a material set and capabilities that are performant enough to do near-field communication. So the fact that we're actually demonstrating live, real, near-field communication is quite unique in the printed electronics field. So nobody else can do this for now? For now. Nobody else can do it in printed really, electronics. That's really awesome. And NFC is just the first step. The next thing, you'll do a full PCB for a tablet or printed? <laughs> I was at the Samsung event. I was a little bit disappointed. We still don't have a flexible phone. <laughs> well, they've got curved ones. Yeah, but it's static. It's not they're flexible. Not, they're not dynamic. They showed that five years ago, but they're not... Can you help them to make it... What's what's You've needed? Got, like more money? No, there's a lot of things. For flexible displays, there are a lot of things that go into that. Um, you need the flexible backplane, and that's actually one of the technologies that's the harder part of it, because the backplane itself, being flexible, you have to have absolutely perfect every single pixel. And printed electronics are not necessarily the most performant electronics. They're, silicon electronics have a 60-year head start on us. Um, so from the standpoint, that what we're really looking at is lower-end applications where silicon is just overkill, where you don't need the high performance. So if you need high performance, like you do in the display, you will go with uh, conventional electronics and silicon approaches and the higher price baseline. If what you need is ubiquity, then printed electronics is going to serve. Cool. So, uh, so looking forward to everything printed uh, I am and too. flexible, <laughs> unbreakable. And here we have the the flexible electronics that you're using. So this is a uh, flexible. What are we looking at here? Yeah, this is a metal foil. This is where we manufacture the printed dopamine polysilicon process. So this is flexible substrate that we use to manufacture the NFC barcode, as well as Covio's electronic article surveillance products. Can you, can you bend it a little bit again? Yes. So what do we have behind it? Just so this is just a magnet that's used oh, to sorry. hold it in place. Let's try to go on the yeah. other side. Uh, sorry, it's just a magnet to hold it in place? Exactly, exactly, on this carrier. And. Uh, uh, the many small uh, chips? Right exactly. Here? Every one of these squares is an NFC barcode chip. So each one of these is attached to an antenna, and then that creates the complete NFC barcode uh, tag. And you're the only one in the world to be able to do this? Yes, exactly. The so first, the only? Yes. So this is a. This is a thin film right here. Yes. This is the whole point of the name, is it? Yeah, so this is a, a proprietary process that we manufacture in San Jose, California, in Silicon Valley. And so this is one of the two core manufacturing platforms we have at Thinfo. The other one is based on a printed memory, and that is on a roll-to-roll -roll plastic substrate manufactured in Sweden. Nice. So the printed memory in Sweden and the printed uh, NFC, mm -hmm. you call it NFC? What? Yeah, so it's the printed open polysilicon manufacturing process that we use for the NFC barcode, as well as the electronic article surveillance or EAS product lines. Oh, nice. And that's manufactured in San Jose. So this is pretty amazing yeah. stuff, no? It is. Yeah. So, what's the future with thin film? So Where does it go? Absolutely. So, where thin film is going now is integrating sensors, so dynamic information. As you saw earlier with the OpenSense technology, we're integrating the capability to detect whether a bottle has been opened previously. In addition to that, we're working on temperature sensors, so those sensors can be accessed via NFC. Each yeah. label is uniquely identifiable, and then the temperature information, whether it went above or below a preset limit, is visible through the NFC interface. Nice. What are we looking at there, there, there? Is that... Uh... Those are test structures. So those are, those are simply in place to make sure that the, uh, 
uh, the processing of the sheet happened in the way that we intended. Is it stable? Is 100% good yield? How does it work? <laughs> well, this is a, this is a process that, that is like all the semiconductor and, and uh, is new processes. Yeah, it's relatively new. new. So but, uh, the, how, the electronic how, article surveillance, we don't publish yields, but the electronic article surveillance product, which is in mass production now, shipping as it'll be publicly announced, um, is yielding very well. And so then that the means you're able to do millions of units. Yes. So oh, sure. so we've announced uh, one million. Uh, seven-figure type orders previous year, and then at the end of last year we announced additional order um, that takes an extra order magnitude up for So the this order year. is not yet shipping to customers, to uh, consumers yet, right? Or so those, those, are in, those are in market. Um, in today. market? Yes. But uh, in the market, so people are buying stuff with this technology already? Right, so the electronic article surveillance product line is, is in market too. And some of these uh, pure elegance? Yep, so these, will, so these are the, the open sense technology, and that'll be on market later this year. Cool. And these oh, are coming this later, system. soon, very soon. And these are... Uh, yeah, so this is, this is an example brand that we've created to demonstrate the yeah, capability. Example brand, but this is real. It's coming. So, so this, is, this is a prototype smart model yeah. that was created in collaboration with Diageo. Cool. So, uh, there we are. Cool. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh